Welcome to SwitchSmart. SwitchSmart was developed for the engineering and electronic service tech community that are in academia or new to the electronic industry. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at contact points. Internal contact points for electromechanical switches operate in three different ways. Pushing the contact points to meet, wiping the contact points to engage, and butting the contact points together. A push contact functions by pressing the actuator which pushes the moving contact onto the stationary contact to close the circuit. There is little or no wiping or rubbing movement resulting in less wear and tear to the contacts. However, oxidized material can build up over time. Switch types such as push buttons, tacks, toggles and triggers all use push contact functionality. Wiping contact functionality is common in dip and rotary switches. The operation of a wiping contact is where the movable part of the connection wipes or rubs over the stationary part to make contact. This action can help remove oxidized material that can build up on the contacts. This is also referred to as a self-cleaning contact. This brings us to the final style of internal contact. Butting the contact, also known as a shorting bar style contact. Two contact points are connected via the shorting bar. When the actuator is pressed, the contact points butt up against the stationary contacts. The rapid rate of make and break means that these switches are appropriate for high current loads. Anti-vandal and tack switches are just some of the switches that often utilize this shorting bar style of engagement. Thank you for watching. Go to eswitch.com to watch more of the SwitchMart series. Feel free to comment as well as share SwitchMart with all your colleagues. Maybe you have a suggestion for the next SwitchMart topic. Our ears are always open. Thanks again.